Hey guys, it's Amy from MyHeartLOA.com. Thank you so much for pushing play on this video. And happy 2020! Can you believe we're into 2020 already? It seems like last year flew by. I'm so optimistic for this year though because 2019 was kind of eh for me. I think it was for a lot of people. I don't know. I had a lot of ups and downs. Hopefully, this year is going to be amazing. I don't know why, but I'm really optimistic about it. And I'm really excited about it. I wasn't before. And then, leading up to last night, I started getting more and more excited. But anyway, this video is to show you a few more pages that I added to the 2020 planner that I'm making for you guys. And I hope you like the extra pages. If you have any suggestions of things that you could use in a planner that you would actually take the time to fill out. Leave them in the comments section below, okay? Now, I do have another video showing the very first of the planner, and I will link that video below in the description so you can go watch it and see the rest of it if you want to, okay? Alright, here are the new pages I added. I added a to-do sheet, of course, and if you notice, at the top it says Priority. For your to-do list, make sure, or if you want to start doing this, this is what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to try my best to start doing this. Ugh, it's easier said than done sometimes, I know. But anyway, start writing down your top three priorities, right? And I'm not just saying like clean the house, go to the doctor, whatever. Things that you are dreading, things that you've been putting off, things that you procrastinate about. Write those down first and try your best to go ahead and do them. I am the world's worst procrastinator. You can ask my boyfriend. He will definitely tell you I'm a big procrastinator. And I'm trying to change that about myself. Last year, my word for the year was action. I'm taking that word over into this year because I want to keep pushing myself to be the type of person that takes action, action, action. Because when you're taking action, if even if you're failing at something, it don't matter because you're learning lessons from it, right? And you're pushing yourself to do things. You know what I'm saying? This is how I want to be this year. I want to keep pushing through. I want to be a full-time blogger. So I'm going to keep pushing myself until my dream comes true. Okay, anyway, what I'm thinking about doing on this page, too, is making like a big block right here at the top. That way you can put your top three priority and maybe I'll highlight it. Maybe make it yellow or something really bright so that you will see it on your list. And maybe I'll put some little quotes on there too. See, it's, this is just a rough draft. <laughs> this is just a rough draft, but these are the few extra pages that I've added. Something I want to do to inspire you and not only you, I'm making this for myself too. So that I will actually use it and keep making my life better okay keep getting organized and planning things out and actually taking action on things all right next page i went ahead and put you two pages of to-do list in there so you'll have plenty of room next page is gratitude if you are new to iheartloa.com you don't know but all my subscribers know and my readers know that i am very big on gratitude why for one reason, ever since I made gratitude a habit two plus years ago, I'm going strong. I say my gratitudes every single day, everything that I'm grateful for. I say thank you as soon as I wake up, as soon as my eyes pop open. <laughs> I can't talk. As soon as my eyes pop open in the morning, I'm saying thank you. Gratitude has changed me in so many ways. It's changed my life. It's changed my circumstances. It's changed me as a person. Because I used to be such a skeptical person. I was a negative person. I, I had that victim mindset. I was always complaining about how broke I was. Always complaining about how everybody else had it easy and I didn't. How I always had to work so hard and how I was always struggling. Until I hit my rock bottom and I had to pull myself back up. I hit my rock bottom and I said to myself, after I cried and beat the shit out of my steering wheel and got frustrated, 
And I just sat there and told myself, you are better than this. You have got to do better than this. I was so sick of how my life was going. Constant struggle. So sick of it. I said, enough is enough. There has to be a better way of life. There has to be more out there for me. And I started going in search of. I started going in search of. And that is when I stumbled upon the law of attraction. All the personal development stuff. All the stuff that was going to help me change my mindset. Gratitude was a big, big, big part of that. That's why I always talk about gratitude. Because it helped me so much. And I know if it can help me, that it can help somebody else, okay? I'm not rich. I'm not a wealthy person. I work outside the home still. I went from homeless to actually being comfortable now and having money left over out of my paychecks. And I know that's not saying much, but to me it is. I remember times when I didn't have money to pay my bills, when the lights would get turned off, <clears throat> different things like that. You know, I was struggling. But I had made those choices that put me in that position, right? And I, something changed within me. My mindset started changing when I started getting into personal development, law of attraction, gratitude especially. It flipped a switch in my brain that I started changing my perspective on life. I started seeing life through different eyes. It actually opened my eyes up, I believe. It opened my eyes up to how I had let my mindset, that victim mindset, carry me through life and how I, I had chose to be the person that I was being. But now I'm choosing something different, okay? And I have definitely seen results from gratitude. So I want to pass that along to anybody that needs to hear that. Start by saying thank you. Just say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep saying it over and over and over again until you feel grateful inside of you. Then you start listing off everything and anything that you have that you are grateful for. Start with the roof over your head. Start, start with the basics. The roof over your head, the food in your belly, your kids, your husband, your wife, your family, your friends. Start with the basics, okay? Every day. Then as you start growing and you start feeling that gratitude feeling more and more stronger inside of you, then start saying what you want to manifest into your reality right now. But say it in the present or past tense. I am so grateful that I'm a full-time blogger and I get to stay home with my kids all the time. I am so happy and grateful for that raise I got at work. I'm just so grateful for it. It has helped me so much whatever you can think of but gratitude will help you and i promise you it will help you if you'll just try it. just give it a chance try to make it into a habit like i did i have all kinds of blog posts about gratitude if you'll go over to iheartloa.com and i will list it in the description a couple of blog posts for you to check out go there and read some of those blog posts and see how it's changed my life and see how you can make that into a habit for yourself and it's going to help you no matter where you're at in life, no matter your circumstances. If you want to change your life and your circumstances, gratitude will help you do that, okay? All right, anyway, back to the planner. Sorry about that little rant. I just had to put it out there. I'm big on gratitude, people. I mean, I am really big on gratitude. With that being said, <laughs> next page is is your journal page. Now, this is where you can journal out any limiting beliefs that you have about yourself, about your circumstances, or just anything, any limiting beliefs you have, like, I'm not good enough, or I'm not worthy, I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't make videos, or, you know, I suck at making videos, or that person does so much better than I do, you know? Gratitude, or journaling, excuse me, I messed up. Write down all your limiting beliefs right there in your little journal pages. There's a reason why I want you to do this, and it's not to get you down. It's not to make you feel negative thoughts, but you you can't be positive all the time. I mean, that's just a given. We are human beings. We feel all the emotions. You're not going to be positive every single day of your life. You're going to be down on yourself, but that's just the monkey mind. That's just the ego, okay? When you can write this stuff out, 
you can start to see, have it right in front of you and see and start questioning that limiting belief. Is that really true? All right, next page is your affirmations page. The reason I place the affirmations page underneath the journaling page is because you can take and reword your limiting beliefs into affirmations. Say you've got a limiting belief that is like me. So like my little limiting belief, I suck at videos. I know I'm not the best at videos, but I'm getting better the more I make them. I'm feeling more and more comfortable. Yes, I feel awkward because I feel like I'm talking to myself most of the time, especially if my family are around listening to me. It feels weird. But then I remember that there's somebody out there that's watching, that's listening, that I might be helping them. You know what I mean? So anyway, reword your limiting beliefs. Like my limiting belief is I suck at videos. I could write down, I am getting better and better at videos every day. Or I could write down, I had an awesome comment the other day on one of my videos and it lit me up. I am amazing at making videos. My videos resonate with other people, etc. Now that's just an example. But any limiting beliefs you have, you can take and turn them around and put them into a positive affirmation that is going to make you feel better and that's going to change that negative thought into a positive thought, okay? That's why I have the affirmations page in the planner. Now, that's all the extra pages that I've got right now. If you haven't seen the other video, which shows the very beginning of the 2020 planner, I will link that in the description and you can go watch that video. It's got all 12 months. It's got daily pages and then it has weekly pages. And then it's got these other few pages that I've just added, which is your to-do list, your gratitude page, your journal page, and your affirmations page. So... If you have any more suggestions of anything else that you would like to see put in this planner that you'll actually use, something that you need, let me know in the comments and I will be sure to pop it in there for you, okay? Because I'm all ears. I'm so open to suggestions. Anything you would like to see that you'll actually use in this planner, leave it in the comment section for me and I will create it for you, okay? This planner is for potential subscribers to iHeartLOA and and it's furry of course and if you're already a subscriber and you would like this planner I will send you the link as soon as I get it finished okay this is in color as of right now but I'm definitely thinking about going ahead and making the black and white version too because I don't think it's going to be that hard I think I could just go through and like Take these color blocks and just turn them to gray or whatever or even, you know, or black or something and then just change the color over to black. I don't think it's going to be that hard to do. I think I could do it pretty easy. I might have to tweak a few things here and there, but I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to pop on real fast. I didn't mean to get into the rant, but I mean, I do that sometimes, especially when it comes to gratitude. I just, it has a big place in my heart. It's played such an important role in my life i'm so optimistic now i am so freaking optimistic about life and i've never had that you know until these last four to five years until these last four to five years of my life i've always been in that place in my life where i always felt like i was a victim because i was poor and i always felt like i was going to be broke for the rest of my life and my life started changing when i started using gratitude and i just want that for you too and I want you to be able to use this planner to help you with your self-care. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of nobody else good, okay? It's just going to help you change your life. You start taking better care of yourself, your own personal development, and your own personal growth, okay? Alrighty, that's what this planner is for. And I hope you like it. If you have any suggestions, leave them below. And I guess I'll get off here. And so this video won't be freaking humongous. It's already at, oh, it's already at 14 minutes, Lord. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Make sure you come over to the blog and to the Facebook page. See you later.